Hearing a baby's first laugh, cheering on those first wobbly steps, watching him play, make friends, and discover the world. For many parents, grandparents, friends, and neighbors, it all begins at St. Luke's. Tonight, we celebrate not only lives that enter this world, but all lives that are touched by St. Luke's. With this goal, we continue to focus on our promise, the patient above all else. Tonight, we recognize those who have made this mission possible, those who have enabled us to advance patient care at St. Luke's, provide health education, and help fund clinical research for the health of our region. Tonight, we celebrate you, your support for advancements in patient care, your dedication to the vital role St. Luke's plays in our region, your generosity, which creates a better experience for our patients every day. In 2014, you contributed to St. Luke's surgical expansion, which now allows us to care for patients with complex medical issues and gives more people the opportunity to receive care close to home. It's life-changing for us as a hospital to be able to, to give this to our patients and families. It truly is a gift, I feel, to them um, in our community from St. Luke's. Then there's all the amazing things that we're gonna be able to do in a room like this, in the hybrid space, and you know, providing the equipment and the technology that our providers are already trained to use um, to better care for patients is, is kind of gives you goosebumps when you think about it. And I can't wait to see the amazing life-saving procedures that they're able to do here um, collaboratively. This year, St. Luke's Foundation continues its dedication to patient comfort and care with its birthing center renovation project, which will create a warm, caring environment for mothers and their newborns. Bringing a new life into the world is incredibly important, so we want to make sure that new life is brought into a, a caring, warm, but technical, sound environment. Um, so that that's part of the mystery and part of the beauty of what we're doing in the OB floor is it's being allowed into a patient's life and to the patient's um, moment of birth with the child and helping the child start their life uh, in, in a setting that's conducive to the comfort of the patient and the safety of the patient. I think the birthing center and you know having the birth take place in the patient's room so to speak is it was a big advance, because I remember when my children were born, it was in a big, scary place, you know, for the, for the mothers and some fathers. Um, but I think this uh, will probably uh, even further streamline the uh, care and care and delivery uh, in the birthing center. One of the most important aspects of the project is increased space for patients and doctors. Our rooms are fairly small, so sometimes we have a hard time if we have an emergency and need to bring in extra staff or extra equipment, fitting us all in the room um, to safely take care of patients. And also, just for comfort of patients, they often have family members that are visiting, a lot of them who want to meet their baby. They have a lot of baby gear, and they have their baby in here, and nurses um, doing education, and so just physically having enough room is important. Um, the thing I'm looking most forward to is um, our goal of keeping the babies with the moms after they're born, and I think in larger private rooms, we can achieve that better. Um, and that gives us the ability to examine the baby in the room. The baby can have their baths in the room. Um, they can even receive some mild treatment in the room. So they're with their moms the whole time that they're here. Renovating St. Luke's Birthing Center goes beyond added space. With the addition of private bathrooms, tubs for laboring, and updated aesthetics, St. Luke's will be able to give patients what they have come to expect from modern birthing centers, a comfortable environment with a variety of birthing options. We unfortunately are in the business of medicine and we have a fair amount of competition in this town alone. We also have a group of women who are looking for different options for their maternity care. They're not necessarily looking for sterile birthing rooms and um, the way we used to do things, but they're looking for comfort, they're looking for modern facilities, they're looking for variation in the way they can treat their pain, as well as the positions that they can be in throughout labor and delivery. It means that patients are gonna have more privacy, um, they're gonna have amenities that, um, that other facilities are able to provide for them, um, a tub to labor in. Um, sometimes women want to try to use, um, you know, warm water to soothe 
their discomfort during labor, especially those women who are trying to avoid an epidural or really want to have a natural progression. Um, and so the updated um, environment. Um, some of the other things that we're trying to do is increase our privacy, um, hopefully provide like a mini fridge in the room so that, because these are healthy, generally healthy people who um, know what they want and really want to have control in their environment. With this renovation, patients will have an environment that reflects the quality care they already receive from St. Luke's staff. A staff, as Dr. Goltz attests, that deserves an updated space. I really feel that we do great work here. We have incredible staff. Um, they, they treat our patients with such dignity and kindness and support. And I think that it's nice for them to be in a physical setting that is pleasing. And I think it is nice for them to be proud of, of where they work and proud of the, of the physical space that they're in. And they, they will be able to do that once, once this project is done. Molly Anderson, new mother and patient of St. Luke's Birthing Center, praises her doctors and nurses for their kindness and professionalism. I just really enjoyed my experience here. I had um, really great doctors that came and checked on me and the birthing center staff was really great even to my family and, and really respected what I said when I wanted limited visitors or, or lots of people. They just were really understanding of what I needed and when I needed it. Contributing to this project will enhance the birthing experience for mothers like Molly, a benefit that reaches beyond the birthing center, inviting new families into the St. Luke's system. I think what this means for our patients is that they are going to be excited about coming here. They are already because, of course, most of the time they're having a baby and that's a really exciting time. But, but to be able to walk in and be welcomed by a physical space that is pleasing to all of our senses, to our eyes and our ears, and, and just I think that, that they're going to be super excited about, about being here. And we're really hopeful that it will increase our business and that we will continue to be very busy in delivering babies and, and inviting families into the St. Luke system so that they then expand throughout the St. Luke system. At St. Luke's new life thrives. From the sound of those first tiny heartbeats to the first time a mother holds her baby in her arms, St. Luke's puts the patient above all else. With your help, we can welcome the newest members of our community into an environment that can care for them through their first breath, their first steps, and throughout the rest of their lives. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for continually putting the patient above all else.